Arataki Ito, the new badass in Genshin that everyone simply admires for his personal charm and well, to be blunt, his look. Many Genshin players are already contemplating on what they should be doing next, all because of the new Oni and Ta. Without further ado, I present to you guys Arataki Ito's skills and abilities. This should help you get an idea before he comes out on whether or not you might want to pull on his banner. 97.8% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, so please make sure you subscribe to the channel. That will help me out a lot. Arataki Ito's skills skills are ones to behold. Ito actually wields a claymore and uses the Geo element. This makes him a powerful and fearful leader as he was presented in the showcase. He can also perform normal attacks that hit four times. This is pretty important. The second and fourth attack upon hit allows him to gain superlative super strength. This is a new stacking mechanism threaded especially for Arataki Ito, and I cannot wait to use this. His normal attack combo won't reset for a short period of time after using his elemental skill or sprinting. And to be frank, it should be really powerful or essentially useless. We'll have to wait and find out. However, when you hold your auto attack, you can use superlative strength stack. These stacks we talked about earlier to keep him swinging. This is super cool, especially because his build is based off this. So you want to be stacking a lot of his superlative strength before you use any of his auto attack. So when you're using your charge attack, you will also use your superlative strength. So this will allow you to expand superlative strength and deal damage without spending any stamina. However, each slash uses one stack of your superlative strength and his final attack hits especially large in comparison to the regular. When Arataki Ito has no stacks available, he does a normal slash attack as his charge attack. So his talents, his talent Arataki Ichiban, whenever you use the charge attack, each slash will increase attack speed and his resistance to interruption increases as well. This is going to be especially good against large opponents that you know like to swing their arm around or have around that usually knocks you out of the battle. Another unlockable talent is the damage of his charge attack is increased based on his defense percentage. So this talent is actually pretty good. As you can see, this is a pretty interesting build, especially for a character that does a lot of damage as a DPS character. So his build is essentially based on defense after you unlock this talent. All right, so we're going to be talking about his elemental skill and elemental burst. His elemental skill allows a bull companion, Ushi, to come and help you fight. And each hit grants you a stack of superlative strength. Ushi is also a geo construct, so he will remain on the field to taunt as well. But he also has an HP bar, unlike Guoba or Oz that do not. However, Ushi also grants one stack of strength when taking damage or leaving the field. I think this this is pretty good. It's pretty balanced in some ways and I can't wait to have a little companion on the field that I feel like is actually part of the, you know, a part of the game. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Oz. His elemental burst pulls out a mace and it converts all his attacks into geo damage quite similar to how Zhao works first and third attacks after you use your elemental burst will grant you one stack of superlative strength individually this however comes with a debuff elemental and physical resistance drops tremendously however inversely his attack is increased based on defense and his normal attack speed also increases as well. There's another talent and I find this one pretty useless. When attacking a tree, you have a chance of dropping more wood. This couldn't have been more useless. But hey, for those of you guys who do enjoy the Serenity Pod, this actually might be a fantastic thing for all of you. So what this means is that the new artifact set that you guys see on your screen might actually prove to be pretty beneficial for him to use. Obviously, this is also good for Albedo, so I cannot wait to test it out on him as well. How good it is will be determined in the future as we don't know yet. And that new Claymore also definitely looks cool as well. That was a lot we just talked about and I, I'm pretty excited for Arataki Ito, especially with the whole, you know, banner thing happening 
Uh, if you guys want me to talk about that, I think I will in the upcoming future or in the next video or something like that. I'll be talking about the two banners that are releasing at the same time. The Event Wish banners for Eula and Albedo. So I'm going to let you guys know about that. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and or get something out of this because it's been a pretty fun video to make. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for all your support, uh, especially on my, you know, on my videos recently and on my channel in general. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for Arataki Ito. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Are you guys excited for Ito? What kind of builds are you going to have on him? What kind of teams? I'm kind of excited for a Goru, Ito, Zhongli, and a fourth duo character, maybe like Ningguang on the team. I feel like that'd be pretty awesome to make and a pretty cool video to make in general. Alright, that's gonna be it. See you guys in the next one.